In a quiet street leading off Boulevard Saint-Germain, there is one of the least known but most important houses of the 20th century. Constructed within the fabric of an older building, a cantilevered steel frame supports external walls of glass lenses or plain sheet glass. It has become known as La Maison de Verre, the House of Glass. The house contains both a family home and a doctor's consulting room. Visitors enter the body of the house and separate at the bottom of the main stair. The doctor's clients continue to a ground floor waiting area where clear glazing set in a wall of diffusing lenses allows limited views into the rear garden. The family home starts on the first floor reached by a small passenger lift or by the main staircase. Spatial separation and privacy within the house is provided by screens spanning from floor to ceiling and taking many forms, being folding, pivoted, rotating or rolling. A pivoting glass panel controls access to the main staircase and veins of perforated metal offer visual privacy. A cantilevered pivot door provides casual access at other times. The staircase leads to the major double height space, the salon. A balustrade of storage fittings surround the stairwell and define the space. The salon is overlooked by the balcony leading to the bedrooms on the floor above. Brackets cantilevered from the floors carry cupboards or shelves and screens of folded and curved perforated metal. These can be transparent, translucent or visually opaque depending on light or viewpoint. Footsteps are muffled on rubber-studded floor tiles or timber block. Functions are emphasized by the steel frame, which stands clear of the vertical hopper ventilators and the luminous facade. Heat is diffused through ducts in the hollow floor structure. Within this envelope is a rich collection of beautiful objects, paintings, tapestries, sculpture, furniture and books. As darkness falls, the luminous walls come alive. External flood lamps throw light upwards onto the ceilings inside. Some light is reflected into the courtyard itself. The lenses shimmer as one passes and they become an insubstantial element of the construction. Lighting is controlled by remote switches mounted on freestanding tubing and connected to relays on a central fuse and switchboard. Internal lighting is supplemented in the salon by troughs in front of the upper cupboards throwing a warm light off the timber panels and onto the ceiling. It is truly a house of transformations, using the qualities of modern materials to alter the use of the house according to need 
and in response to the hour of the day. The rear elevation reveals the whole building and the fluid handling of the translucent walls of the modern house. The new steel structure supporting the attic stories leaves its imprint in the many belted column connections clearly evident in the salon. A journey through the house reveals the invention applied to separating spaces and providing privacy. Positive closure is achieved by sliding screens solid and faced with perforated sheet metal. One provides access to the upper staircase from the head of the main stair. In the space under the stair, a circular shutter opens to reveal a freestanding cupboard of cleaning materials. At the rear of the salon, a larger sliding screen closes off the private study area. Within the study, an open balustrade allows the doctor to speak to the receptionist below, or curtains can be drawn for a quiet daytime rest space. From this space, a sliding screen gives access to Madame d'Alsace's sitting room, which has a second glass screen to allow visual, but not audible, continuity. In this most private day space, there is a stairway to the bedroom above, but even that can be closed, like a ship's gangway, from above. A grating rolls forward from under the bed to stop the stair opening unintentionally. The bedroom opens directly into the main bathroom and at the entrance both glazed and aluminium screens are available, visibility or privacy. At this second floor, clear glazing and a balcony allow open views down into the garden. From the corridor, a view into the bathroom is closed off by a pivoting pedestal cupboard for linen and small garments. The bathroom itself is formed almost entirely in heavy gauge polished aluminium sheet to offer a range of cupboards and facilities while washing or shaving. La Maison de Verre is unique. It is built largely from engineering materials, steel, glass, alloy and rubber, but it is not a machine. It celebrates the genius of a remarkable design team responding to gifted clients with a fresh view of 20th century living. Mm -hmm.